Isto. Praise Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God Almighty. Bless his holy name. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. We will get started shortly. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Bless are your Lord God, King of the universe. Lord, we praise you. We worship you, Lord. We adore you. There is none like you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hello and welcome. Benjamin John. I am Benjamin John. I welcome you and I thank you for joining us here at Living Hope Christian Center. Jesus is Lord and Christ over Living Hope Christian Center. The chance that you are here is a testament to the fact that God has ordained you to be a part of this meeting. Again, you are welcome. Here at Living Hope Christian Center, we believe that Jesus is Lord and Christ and He is the head of this assembly. And I am His servant. He has entrusted me as a custodian of His gospel for this particular house. And I'm grateful to God. This is a vision that was given by God. There's no one that can fulfill God's vision by himself. So there's a path for everyone. This is a place of love, a place of hope, a refuge for anyone that has any issue or anyone that needs to maintain their peace and joy. At Living Hope Christian Center, it begins with Jesus and ends with Jesus. Jesus is Lord over this assembly. As you pray and meditate on your part for this commission, I want you to prayerfully consider being a part of this family with the great gifts that God has given you. God has given each and every one of us great gifts of one purpose to edify his body. And we are the body of Jesus Christ. I pray that Lord Jesus will appear to you and reveal himself to you via his word. Again, you are welcome. Thank you and God bless you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank you all for the privilege to gather again this morning. Father, this Amen. gathering is unto you, O oh Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, we give you praise, O oh Lord. Father, we thank you for your abiding presence. And thank you all for joining us this morning. Hallelujah. As we now invite our dear sister to lead us in worship and praise. Hallelujah. For the next praise 10 minutes. the Lord. God bless you, sister. Praise. Go ahead. God bless you. Praise the Lord, people of God. It is great to be in the house of the Lord and where there is, uh, where the children of God is, there is liberty. So as I, I sing and praise God, I pray that you will join us and, and, and worship God in spirit and in truth in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul. Worship his holy name. Sing like never before. Oh, my soul. I worship your holy name. I worship.
worship your holy name. Somebody sing, bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship his holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, worship his holy name. Oh, bless the Lord, oh, my soul, oh, my soul, worship His holy name, sing like never before, oh, Worship His holy name. Worship His holy name. Oh, we worship, we worship, worship His holy name. What shall I render to Jehovah? For He has What shall I render to Jehovah? For he has done so very much for me. What shall we render to Jehovah? For he has done so very much for us. What shall we render? To Jehovah, for he has done so very much for Worthy is the 
lamb, faithful as the lamb, righteous as the lamb, awesome as the lamb. You are holy, we are calling you holy, oh, holy are you, Lord God Almighty, faithful are you, Lord, righteous are you, Lord, we say you are wherever you are open your mouth and give god Hallelujah. worship we praise you tell lord. him we something beautiful you, we thank you tell lord. him we something beautiful lord we praise you we praise you we praise you lord thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord we worship you lord we bless you lord he is the sustainer of our lives he keeps us safe he keeps us out and he brings us safe place mighty god take your glory take your honor we praise you lord we praise you lord we praise you I bless you, Master Jesus, because you are God all by yourself. You are God all by yourself. We give you glory and the honor. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, thank you, Lord. hallelujah, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank amen. You, Lord. Glory be to in God in Jesus' precious name. We have worshiped amen. this morning, hallelujah. Amen. amen. To God be all amen. the glory, Sister Sylvia. We always God thank you for your for what you do for us. In the body of Christ, the Lord bless you, the Lord keep you, amen. the Lord protect you, amen. the Lord cause his face to shine upon amen. you and give you peace. Amen. The Lord lift up Amen. his countenance upon you. Amen. Amen. Even the blessed, we call you blessed. The Lord yes, put his Lord. name on you. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' precious name. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. We Amen. Love God bless you. you, Pastor. Thank you. We love Hallelujah. you. Hallelujah. God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Amen. We are going to go straight into prayer. First of all, I thank you for joining us. Please be sure to share this teaching. Remember that the world today is now 24 hours broadcast. Our broadcast television networks is now 24 hours. So check in daily to be immersed in the word of his grace, the gospel of the kingdom of God. Praise the Lord and the word of faith. All in this place, 24 hours. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Be, please be sure to share this teaching. Now, there are more ways to watch. You can now watch us on Apple TV. You can download what Today app from the, the Apple Store, the app, the Apple from Apple and the Apple Store. And also, you can also watch us live on what Today in the Roku TV. So you can download what Today app from Roku TV. God bless you. There are more ways to watch. Now, you can go to what Today. That is our, 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 our website also, where, it's, uh, where the TV is on 24. 24 hours daily across the nations of the earth. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now we will go straight into prayer. Praise the Lord. My name is Brother Ben. Let's get straight into prayer. First Timothy chapter 2, beginning from verse 1 to 4. And I read, I exhort therefore that first of all supplications, prayers, intercessions and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. So let us pray. Almighty Father, salvation is the greatest gift to mankind salvation and eternal life oh lord even as we live on heaven on earth here here in this present day lord 
We pray for the salvation of all the families, the souls, those that they are standing in the gap for, those we are standing in the gap for who are watching this broadcast now, and those that will yet watch. Lord, this is your will. You paid with your precious mighty blood that all men should be saved. Father, Lord, we pray that salvation will appear to households, O Lord. Do we like you did for Cornelius. Do we like you did, O Lord, for all those who have had encounters with you, O oh Lord, salvation, salvation for the household, Lord, for their communities, O oh Lord. Father, do it for the sake of your right hand. Do it for the sake of your arm. Do it for the sake of your countenance. And do it for the sake of your favor. To favor those whose name you have written before the foundation of this earth that should have eternal life, O oh Lord. For be the foundation of God standing sure, the Lord knoweth those that are his. Lord, hasten your word to perform it this day. In the name of Jesus, we plead the blood of Jesus upon this broadcast, the instrument, the internet, the television networks, O oh Lord. We plead the blood of Jesus upon the home that are watching, O oh Lord, and all the ordained souls for eternal life. We thank you that we have prayed your will, O oh Lord, and that is the confidence we have that you have answered us, Lord, because you are a God that never breaks your covenant. Blessed are you, Lord God. To you be all praise, all glory, honor, adoration, and thanksgiving and deep appreciation is all becoming unto you, O Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Again, welcome to what Today your daily 24 hours, seven days a week broadcast. Stay tuned always for the immersion in the word of his grace, the word of faith, the gospel of the kingdom of God and patience of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. God is waiting for you to be saved so that he will come. Finally, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So this morning, we will continue with our series. Now, the Lord is keep improving us as we are going forward. So, now, today is part 74 of the Kingdom of God series, Advancing the Kingdom of God series. Now, we have a subtitle for each of our broadcasts. In today's <clears throat> broadcast, the subtitle will be, Victory Begins When We Are God Inside-Minded. I repeat, in today's Advancing the Kingdom of God series, today's particular broadcast, the subtitle is Victory Begins When We Are God Inside Minded. All that is in line with the spirit of seeing and knowing. Praise the Lord. So we'll begin. Let's go straight to the anchor scriptures. Let us open our Bible to the book of... Genesis chapter 1, verse 28. Genesis chapter 1, verse 28. And I read, And God blessed them, <clears throat> and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth, upon the earth. This is the first word that Adam and Eve had when they were created, the blessing. And that is the will of God for you, even now, that you be furnished in abundance, that you have dominion over creeps and over everything. God has decreed it. That is the truth. Settle that in your spirit. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We continue with our, and because he, this is this is God speaking, because this is a covenant word. First of all, it was ratified by the blood of animals, and then by the blood of man through circumcision, and then finally by the blood of God in Christ Jesus. So that it's not a text, but a spirit. As you receive it, the authority will alight in you and set you on your feet, Ezekiel says so. 
chapter 2, verse 2. And the spirit entered into me and he spake unto me. And I heard him. That spirit he set me on my feet and I heard him. That speak unto me. That spirit of God is the authority, the power, and the might of God that enters into you as you receive his word. So pay attention to our declaration today. Praise the Lord. The next anchor scripture is Genesis chapter 12, verses 1 to 3. And I read, Now the Lord had said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation. And I will bless thee and make thy name great. And thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that cursed thee. And in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Amen. This is God speaking again. Again, this is a covenant word. God say he will bless all those who bless you, and he will curse him that cursed you. There is only one source of curse, and that is Satan. What that means is this. That any man who try to curse you, who try to bless you, who try to curse you, or try to put a stumbling block on your part for what God has committed unto you, God say, I will stop that person for the simple reason that God is involved in what you are involved in. And so he will stop anyone who try to stop you. And anyone who try to stop you has become an enemy of God. And the Bible is very clear that the Lord will remove that person and deal with that person because no one can stop the plan, the cause, and the works of God. Praise the Lord. The kingdom of God is the most powerful force and the kingdom of God have control over the affairs of the kingdom of men. So settle that in your spirit. This is covenant. God say, I, the great I am that I am is speaking. The God in whom I serve, he is speaking. Our great God, Almighty God, whose I am and whom I serve, He is speaking. So pay attention to what we are declaring. Finally, we take our third answer scripture from the book of Matthew, Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. The Bible says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. The way to enter into this covenant blessing is to seek the kingdom of God. And what is the kingdom of God? His righteousness. Let your life be hid in the rock. And who is that rock? The rock of your salvation, Jesus Christ. He is the king of the invisible kingdom of God. And as your life is hid in him, you will now begin to see the way he sees things. All these covenant blessings are yours and they are here and amen. Because you are now being made the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And that is the greatest gift of mankind by the mighty and precious blood of Jesus Christ. Therefore, you are now qualified to inherit all these covenant promises because you now dwell in the covenants of promise. So see the word as a promise that can be taken. Let Jesus be your faith. So you receive and take it by faith in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now that take, brings us to where we are today. We begin from where we stopped last week. Today is Advancing the Kingdom of God, part, part 74, subtitled Victory begins when we are God inside minded. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You recall when God spoke to Moses? Let's go there. Deuteronomy chapter 34, verses 1 to 4. The more we read this, the more we become what God says. The Bible says, and I read. And Moses went up from the plains of Moab unto the mountain of Nebo, to the top of Pisgah, that is over against Jericho. And the Lord showed him all the land of Gilead unto Dan, and all Naphtali, and the land of Ephraim, and Manasseh, and all the land of Judah unto the utmost sea, 
and the south and the plain of the valley of Jericho, the city of palm trees unto Zohar, the city of palm trees, unspeakable productivity and abundance, praise the Lord. And the Lord said unto him, this is the land which I swear unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob, saying, I will give it unto thy seed. I have caused thee to see with thy eyes. You see that? This is the word of God concerning you. The abundance of all things for you to be furnished in abundance as God has ordained for you before the foundation of the world. Put your name in the book of life. Discover yourself in the scripture. Praise the Lord. That was then. This is now God speaking to you. Amen. Praise Jesus. Receive that by faith in the name of Jesus. Now, that takes us to where we begin today. Remember, in the past almost four weeks now, we've been talking about David versus Goliath and a woman with the issue of blood. We are not going to read the scripture today. We have already been reading there, but I'm going to give it to you again to remind you. In the book of 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 26 and 29, we discover that how David said that is there not a cause how that Goliath has become a reproach to a covenant army of God, the people of Israel, the people that understood covenant. How can an uncircumcised, a man without hope, without God, put the people of God to flight? And David said, is there not a cause? This man, Goliath, has become a, has become a reproach to Israel. And David called upon the name of his God. He was a man that is God inside minded, praise the Lord. We also saw the woman with the issue of blood, how that this woman was wealthy, as the Bible says, she has spent all her substance on physicians because only someone who has money can afford good physicians and the best, where well, she didn't get anywhere better. And she was faced between controlling her condition for 12 years or death, that means, if she step out of her house and go out, knowing her condition by law that was in, 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 in that was in at that time in Israel, she could be stoned to death. But because she encouraged herself in the law, she was God inside man that if I touch God, I know I'll be made whole. As she took a step of faith, God cleared every natural element on her way and she touched God. Praise the Lord. She was God inside minded. These are two examples. We have been looking at several subtopics, how you can get there, you know, how to not entertain negative thoughts when you are in a, in a, when you face obstacles, how to not be discouraged when you face obstacles. Today, we are going to look at another peel off of the layer of the, of revelation. When you are faced with incredible obstacles in the issues of life, how that you can be God inside minded. That is, you look at the greater one that is in you. And remember his promises that he had deposited in the kingdom of God, in your heart, that controls everything out there. And then you can speak out of the abundance of what God has put in your heart and every natural element will give way. Everything that doesn't conform to the word of God will be brought to captivity in the name of Jesus Christ, praise the Lord. And you will turn and God will turn your captivity and you will be like did a dream, Psalm 126. You remember that? Praise the Lord. When the Lord turned the captivity of Zion, we will be like dream, praise the Lord. Today, God will turn your captivity. If you believe that, shout a big hey, amen. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. And now <clears throat> we continue. You see, when, when Moses went to Mount, Mount Nebo, he saw things that no other man could see and he knew things that no other man can know. And he saw it the way you, he, the way that God sees it. So we said that encounter in Mount Nebo, you know, encounter with Jesus is the spiritual climbing of Mount Nebo. As you stay in the world, as you stay in the world, you see the things that no man can see. Even those who try to oppose you, they can't see what you see. <clears throat> And you see the way God sees it. The Bible says, until I enter into the house of the Lord, then understood I their end. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> Hallelujah. 
So what do you see? <clears throat> do you see problems? Do you see contracts? Do you see tempest? Or the greater one who live inside of you when you are faced with situations in the journey of life? What do you see? We have just seen this demonstrated in the two examples that we shared, David versus Goliath and the woman with the issue of blood. Praise the Lord. So victory begins when we are God inside minded. For David, victory begins when he testified of the goodness of God, how God has delivered him and with his bare fist, he slay a lion and a bear. And that this uncircumcised Philistine, a man without God and without a, without a covenant and without hope, he will be like one of them. That victory was already ordained and concluded in the spirit. It would just so manifest. Goliath was a dead man, even while he was busting, and he knew it not because David, because he was God inside man, they see the way God sees it. And David has seen the victory that Goliath cannot see because it is hid from him. He was boasting on his natural strength, but David was God inside man and dependent on the power and the might and the authority of God to release the angels to go to war. I mean, this, we are talking about the Lord strong, the Lord mighty, the King of glory, Jehovah Shabuah, Lord commander of the heavenly host. Praise the Lord. Ah, praise Jesus. Amen. <clears throat> so be God inside my name. Let's see how the scripture helps us to be God inside my name. How can we be God inside minded when we are faced with the issues of life? F Today, we are going to take only part one of this being God inside minded. We continue with part two later in the week. Praise the Lord. First Thessalonians chapter five, verse 23 to 24. First Thessalonians chapter five. Verses 23 and 24. And I read, <clears throat> And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithful is he that calleth you, who also will do it. You see that? Praise the Lord. You see, <clears throat> You are a spirit, you have a soul, and you live in a body. And your spirit is learning to live in this natural world. So that the peace of God is really important because if you receive fear, you can flee. The peace of God will keep you focused on the promises of God. And as you meditate on these promises of God, the Bible says, because God is the one who called you. He is so faithful that as you focus and as you are God inside minded, he is the one that will do it. I repeat that verse. Faithful is he that called you. Who also will do it. If he delivered you in time past, he hasn't changed. I am God. I change yet not. Jesus, the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is so faithful. He will yet deliver you, and he will and must deliver you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Settle that in your spirit. Praise the Lord. Amen. So David knew this. David understood this. And then Goliath was out there boasting in his natural set, natural, natural, which is natural ability. Amen. He was toast. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This should be the mindset of the believer. You don't, you don't fight battles by physical means, natural means. You take the word of God. It's the sword of the spirit. And you speak to stuff. You declare it. You declare the word of God that you have believed in your heart and speak to stuff. And that is what David did. Praise the Lord. And Goliath bowed face down the way he fell and bowed to the God of David on the, on the dust, praise the Lord. 
on the dust. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So David and the woman with the issue of blood was God inside minded and they received incredible victories. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So David spoke what he believed in his heart. We have to go beyond just believing, but to speak it out. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So also the woman with the issue of blood. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So let's see what the scriptures say again. How we can be God inside minded. First John chapter 4, verse 12. First John chapter 4, verse 12. And I read, the Bible says, No man has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwelleth in us, and his love is perfected in us. You know, when, when there are tempests of life, people say, why did God allow this? Oh, God, why did God do this? God does not bring tempest. God is love. As long as you focus on the love of God, and that love of God will overflow to your neighbors. Because love is God, and God is love. And love never fails. And God, who is love, that dwells in you, will never fail you. Understand that God chose you because he loves you. God chose Abraham. Abraham is from the awe of Cadiz. That is the present day Iran. God called him out, out of his, because of his love and chose him. And exploits that he wrought because God called him. And God has called you. Today we are children of Abraham. By faith. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So the love of God is what keeps you, your whole spirit, soul, and body whole. And you are immovable. Trust in the Lord. Praise the Lord. Being God inside minded. So God will show his power and might through us. Because he is the one that loves us. The biblical example of all those who love God. Abraham, Isaac, Joseph, Jacob, Joseph, all the apostles, Apostle Paul. I mean, they face all manner of tempest. The Moses. But see how God wrought mighty works to their hands. That as they declare a word, that word they declare becomes God's word. And God will perform it, praise the Lord. So they were God inside. Let me ask you for example. Imagine that you are at war and the enemies are chasing you. And you are fleeing by horse. Suddenly you just get to the bank of the Atlantic Ocean, the Red Sea. You are in between the Red Sea and the enemy behind you. And you spoke to the Atlantic Ocean, it parts the sea parted because of the love of God. Remember that in your in any trial you face, God is still in your midst. Because, look, if you are a nobody, nobody will pay attention to you. But because you have been sealed by the Spirit of God, you are recognized in the Spirit world, and you become a target for the enemy to come and make of non effect the word of God. But that's a lie of the enemy from the pit of hell. You focus on the word of God and you see the enemy disfigured, dismantled, and they will flee before you because you are not the one doing it. You love God, you declare the word of God, what is love. And God, who is love that never face, we go to war against all those tempests and natural elements must flee like the Red Sea. Like any Goliath in your life, they must flee when you are God inside minded. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Again, what does the scripture say about us being God inside minded? First John chapter 16, verse 13. First John, excuse me, John chapter. 
John chapter 16, verse 13. John chapter 16, verse 13. There is no first John. Now I read. See, God, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, had to personally pray to the Father to release the Holy Ghost that was at work in him during his earthly ministry to us. He took intercession, praying to the Father. That shows you how important the Holy Ghost is to a believer. If you are mindful that the Holy Ghost, the power of God, the great revealer of divine secrets, I mean, the comforter, the counselor, our intercessor, our advocate, and ever ready standby, do us in you. Mm. Now, you will have to make up your mind what you want to see. The spirit of seeing and knowing. Do you see, acknowledge, confess, and declare who is in you? All the natural elements out there that try to frustrate you. That is a decision you must make as a believer. Praise the Lord. Let's see what the Bible says now. The Bible says, and I read, how be it? When he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost will show you things to come, and will reveal to you the hearts of men, the intents of men. He will reveal to you the way of escape, and he will show you things that even those who are trying to block you cannot see. In fact, you will mock them because they are just doing things blindly because you have seen their end as the Holy Ghost has revealed to you. So that you have to acknowledge the Holy Ghost every day when you wake up, whatever you are doing, acknowledge him, let him be your counselor to train your spirit to live in this natural world, to give you instruction and show you the end of the matter, even as it's beginning, praise the Lord. The only one outcome. God always wins and he lives in you. Settle that in your spirit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The spirit of God is the authority, is the power and the might of God Almighty. So meditate on these things and be God inside mind there because he lives in you. In the kingdom of God, that is the, your, your recreator spirit the realm and zone of God, the dominion of God is in you. Understand who you are in Christ Jesus and what you carry, wherever you go to, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, <clears throat> how can we be God inside minded? Let's see what the scripture says. Again, First John chapter two, verse 20. First John chapter two, Verse 20. First John chapter 2, verse 20. And I read. But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know, and ye know all things. If you depend on your ability, you are going to fail. If you see that you are you think you are going to fight this, you're going to fail. But when you have this revelation, knowledge that the greater one lives in you. And that he, the anointing is within you, that you have an unction with and he knows all things. As you declare who God said you are in him, he will reveal all things to you. You will see what no man can see. And you will know things that no man can know. And you see the way God sees it. Let me give you a quick example. You remember that when Apostle John they, it was unkillable because love dwells in him. I mean, they put him in a boiling oil and nothing could happen to him. They said, okay, let's banish him to Patmos. Let him perish there. They made a mistake. <laughs> While he was in Patmos, on the Lord's day, meditating, the, the Lord appeared to him. And he received the revelation and saw the end, as we know it, of this world. And by privilege, only for what was permitted, he wrote the book of Revelation. 
this is a privilege of believers. Those, the Apostle John is not Apostle John. He is first and foremost a believer like you and I. And this is the privilege of the believers because they are called by God to increase in the revelation knowledge of our Savior, Jesus Christ. As you get more revelation knowledge of who he is and you are God inside minded, and this same spirit, this authority and power will enter into you. And you become more like him until you attain the full stature of the measure of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. The Bible says so. Ephesians. This is the will of God for you and me and all believers. And if you are not in, today is your day. You will receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior right now. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We continue. How can we be God inside minded? Like David versus Goliath, you saw what the King David wrote. Like the woman with the issue of blood faced with incredible obstacles in life. How can we be God inside minded to encourage ourselves in the world of life? Praise the Lord. Let's see what the scripture says. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 27. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 27. And I read. The Bible says, The spirit of man is the candle of the Lord, searching all the inward parts of the belly. You see, you are a spirit, you have a soul, and you live in a body. In, in, in the body. And your spirit is learning to live in the natural world. That is you, the real you. So you see that your spirit is the candle of the Lord. The Holy Spirit is the one that lights that candle. Praise the Lord. So the lost light, that is the light of the world, the glory of the word of God. The lost light will penetrate every human spirit, exposing every hidden motive. Nothing is hid from the Spirit of God. And that Spirit of God will, will train your spirit. As you learn of the Spirit of God, it will train your spirit to recognize every motive, every situation. And you begin to see it the way God sees it. You become more and more and more God inside minded. Praise the Lord. And then you cannot be more because you have seen the end of the matter before it starts. Because by privilege, God will reveal this thing to you by the Spirit of God. And you judge all things by the Word of God, not by your feeling, not by some dreams, not by some weird uh, dreams, you know. No, you judge it by the Word of God. Praise the Lord. Because the Spirit of God dwells in you. David said that I am a covenant child of God. This Philistine is uncircumcised. He has no hope. He has no God. That is how we should see the tempest of life. Anything that is not working right in your life as a believer is just an attack from the pit of hell by Satan. For, for one reason, affliction arises for the world's sake. So now demonstrate the word so that that affliction will flee. You see, it's very simple. Affliction has not arisen by the word's sake. So speak to that affliction. It is written, and the affliction must flee. That's what Jesus said to Satan. It is written. It is written. It is written. And he, Satan was conquered. The Bible says he departed from him for a season until he was permanently conquered by the blood of the everlasting covenant and gave us the victory. To live for believers, heaven on earth. Praise the Lord. Be God inside minded. So, how can we be God inside minded? Romans chapter 8, verse 1. Romans chapter 8, verse 1. And I read, the Bible says, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Now, you can see the contrast here. 
you see that David was in the spirit. He spoke in the name of his God, creator of the heavens and the earth. The Bible says, blessed is he that taught the God of Jacob. I mean, the creator of the heavens, the earth, the seas, and all there is in it. And whose helper is the God of Jacob? David understood this scripture. He encouraged himself in the Lord. That God is a covenant making and a covenant keeping God. And if God spoke it, his arm will bring it to pass. He will make it good. God will do it for the sake of his right arm. And who is his right arm? The rock of our salvation, Jesus Christ. Always, always seated at the right hand of God. You remember Moses? There's a rock by my, by, by my right side. I will heed you in that rock. You see that? He's the rock of our salvation and our, the rock of our defense. So if we know that this is the case and that we are hidden him and that the great one, bless his name, is our savior and that he lives in us, he is the one that justified. Therefore, no one can condemn you. So there you see Goliath boasting, condemning David. And here's the best part. Exactly what he said with his mouth, that was how he was condemned. And the Lord judged him on the spot because David was speaking the word of God. I mean, God created everything by the word. Creative power of the word of God is in the word. And is packaged in the blessing. So David spoke that blessing upon himself and spoke the word of God and all the heavenly hosts arose and Goliath was toast. That should be our attitude. That the greater one lives in us. He has put his word in our life. Heed in the kingdom of God, our greater spirit. We should take that word and declare it. You see it? Goliath was boasting in his natural strength. The Bible is very clear. By means of strength shall no man prevail. He said, grace, 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 salvation belong to unto our God. In that day, salvation belong unto our God. And David understood it. In that day, salvation belong unto our God. The woman with the issue of blood understood it. Her harvest was divine health, deliverance, being made whole. David, ascension to the throne on the head of Goliath. That is what you do as a believer. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because the greater one lives in you. When you are God inside minded, this is what will happen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Finally, in closing, we take two more scriptures. First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12. How do we become God inside minded? First Corinthians chapter 2. Verse 12, and I read, the Bible said, Now we have received not the spirit of the word, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. Because the Holy Spirit knows our things. He searches the heart of the Father and takes it through Christ Jesus and reveals to our spirit in our hearts. We have the spirit of God in us. So we should ask God, what is the solution for this situation? And the Holy Ghost will give you a solution via the word. And that is the end of the matter. You don't have to speak in tongues for 12 hours. Just declare what the Holy Ghost has given you. It is done. Because your prayer of 21 days cannot equal the sent word. The sent word is powerful. It's the right word. That is the word. That is sent in season right there for that situation, part time. Praise the Lord. As the Lord leads you. So the key is to remain God inside man. Victory begins when you are God inside man. That is staying in the world. What is that situation? What is that temper? What does the Bible say about it? The Holy Ghost will give you the revelation. And you will thank God and receive the thanksgiving. And you go beyond believing. Now you declare it with your mouth and address that situation. 
praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Finally, we take Proverbs chapter 5, chapter 3, verse 5 to 6. Proverbs, how can we be God inside minded? Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 to 6. And I read, the Bible says, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. You see that? As you stay, spend time in the world, as you meditate on his word and know the situation, begin to build your trust in God. And as you trust God, you don't lean on your own understanding. You begin to see it the way God sees it. As you do that and you acknowledge him, the greater one in the you, Holy Spirit, acknowledge you. I confess, I declare, I testify that you are the greater one in me. You really, really trigger the power of God to arise in you. And God who sits in heaven will laugh at those afflictions. Remember when the when the Egyptians were pursuing the, the Israelites in the midst of the Red Sea. And I heard this from uh, Pastor Benny here last week. I never heard that before. It was really very, uh, uh, very, very uh, <clears throat> eye-opening for me. You know, we, we do the Pastor Benny Hinn uh, weekly uh, Benny Hinn Institute training. So I'm a student there. And uh, he said that when this is this, you this will make you laugh, but this is really true. That is how God sees the tempest that trying to afflict you. That there are no match for you, but you have to call on the name of God. He said, when the Egyptians were chasing the, the Israelites in the Red Sea, the Lord looked from heaven through the cloud and peel and opened it through the cloud and saw the children of the Israelites going forward. And as the Lord looked upon the children of Israel, as he lit up his countenance upon them, the chariots, the chariots of the Egyptians were, they went, they went off. That means it became like square. And the Bible said they drove them heavily. They were struggling. And they said, let us flee, for God fights for the children of Israel. And you see, this is the best part. He said, God was looking at the enemies from heaven and laughing at the enemies. <laughs> Even as he was dealing with them for the sake of the elect, he was laughing at the enemies. You see, how can that be? The Bible is very clear. Why did the hidden rage? He said the God loved them from heaven to derision. Let's go there. Psalm verses, Psalm, Psalm, the book of Psalm. Psalm, Psalm, Psalm chapter 2. Psalm chapter 2. Say, why do the hidden rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together. Against the Lord, against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cause from us. Hear this. This is God now. He that seated in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his whole displeasure. So you see, God is waiting for you to demonstrate the power the revelation knowledge of God that you have received in Christ Jesus to your situation by declaring his word. And as you declare the word of God and the power of God is unleashed and God will just be laughing at them. He will just be laughing from heaven. Love them to derision that look at my son, my covenant child. He can now demonstrate the authority that is in the word of God. The authority, the might, the power of God that is in the word. God will laugh at the tempest that is trying to afflict you because they are discomfited because of the word of God. So encourage yourself in the scripture, the book of life. The Bible says the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus now doeth in us. So speak it out. Go from believing 
and to doing, be a doer, then declare the word of God. Don't just be a, a believer, but be a doer. Doer means you declare the word of God. And let God sit back and watch his power unleashed, and he will laugh his enemies to derision. The Bible is very clear. That is what happens when you have a revelation knowledge of who you are in Christ Jesus and who is at work in you. Praise the Lord. You say, Brother Ben, I agree. Of course. Thank you for agreeing. I really appreciate that. The Lord bless you. You may ask, but how can I become a part of this? How can this power be unleashed? All these covered and blessings. Like how can it become yea, yea and amen for me? Good question. This is how you become. Let's go there. Second Corinthians chapter 6, verse 2. Second Corinthians chapter 6, verse 2. The Bible says, and I read, For he said, I have had thee in a time accepted, and in the day of salvation have I succored thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. And the grace of God that brings this salvation is now available to all. Titus chapter 2, verse 11. So this is how you get in. That you receive this word and you believe in your heart. And then you go beyond believing and confess that Jesus is Lord. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Please, Jesus, come into my life and be Lord over my life. So as you hear this word of life, the word of his grace, the word of his salvation, of your healing and deliverance from every issue of life, harden not your life. Because in this, in this world, it's your peace. <clears throat> it's your salvation. It's your life. It's your prosperity. Everything you need in life. Jesus is he that filleth all in all. So let him be your salvation in all things. And if you believe that, shout a big heart, man, hallelujah, I receive. Let us pray. Say after me, Heavenly Father, I thank you for your word. I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He is the Messiah, Son of David. Lord Jesus, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Please come into my life and be Lord over my life. I ask you, O oh Lord, to give me the gift of the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of truth to lead me in my Christian life. Take my life and do something with my life. I believe I'm not born again. In Jesus' precious name, amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Yes, you are in. You are born again. All of these promises are yea and amen for you now. Welcome and congratulations. So this is the end of part one of this. Victory begins when we are God inside minded in our series, Advancing the Kingdom of God, the Spirit of Sin and Knowing. So we are going to begin part two this week later. So stay tuned, check daily because we are now live 24 hours daily. It's a television network, 24 hours. So check daily and be immersed in the word of his grace, the word of faith, the word of God, the gospel of the kingdom and the patience of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Jesus is so patient. It's not his way that any should perish. So he's waiting for you and your household to be safe, and then he will come, because the gospel has reached the ends of the earth. Praise the Lord, amazing God. I mean, who will say no to, see, to, to such great salvation? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I thank you for joining us. Now, I have some announcement to make. We are now live 24 hours daily. And we have been very busy working on our apps, you know, the apps that we will be working on, you know. You, right now we are available on Roku, Roku you, can, you can search us, you'll find us, but our app will be available for download beginning this week. So you can download what today and you will have it there. So that you just click what today you are in. You have all the messages. You can play it in the car, play it in on the treadmill as you're exercising. Play it as you're even walking, taking a walk, you know, uh, in, 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 or play, play it at work as, as you are walking. You just enjoy the word of word of God. The word today is available on Apple TV. It's available now also 
on Roku. So you can download from the Apple Store and you can also download from Roku. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Lord has done all things well. In addition to all the other social media channels that you normally used to watch, and also from our website, lhworld.org, that is where we have what to do, 24 hours streaming. Praise the Lord. God has done all things well. Now, if you pray that prayer, I have an announcement also to make. If you are looking for a place where you can be encouraged further, or you want to be baptized because you just gave your life to Christ, there's an address you can reach us so we can arrange it for you. So write to us, reach us through newbed at lhworld.org. So we can arrange it for you and then we can give you resources to support you and pray with you. If you have a prayer request, also send it to newbed at lhworld.org. And if you have a praise report, great. Also send it to us. If you are thinking and God is leading you this way to join us, send us an email because we would love to have you and, and get you involved in this movement. Praise the Lord. Wherever you are, you can be very effective. God will use you in your country through this movement. Praise the Lord. So reach out to us. The Lord bless you as you do so. And if you are very far and you need to get baptized, find a Bible-believing church near you where you can be baptized and tell the man of God that you just gave your life to Christ and you need water baptism. That is very essential for your Christian work in this work of faith. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Also, as you are being blessed from this broadcast, Take a moment to also give. Take a moment to give. Take a moment to be a blessing. There are ways you can give, several ways. You can give through PayPal. You can give through Cash App. You can give through going to our website, lhworld.org. And the Lord bless you as you do so. So let us pray over our grieving now. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for the giving grace. We thank you for your word that have received your law. Father, your word is blessed and your people are being prospered right now. Father, we pray for all those who said you have stirred up, O oh Lord, to give, to be involved in this work, O oh Lord. Bless them, O oh Lord. We pray that, O oh Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that they will have all grace and abound and have all sufficiency in all things and abound on every good work. Father, we pray now they receive a hundredfold reward as they put that seed in your hand that you multiply that seed, oh Lord. We thank you that it is done. We call the seed, the giving, the blessings, and, the, and all the tithes and offering blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, as you give, we are going to take a worship song. Let's take a worship song. Praise the Lord. As you give. Thank you. 
Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. We thank you for 
joining us. We thank you for your giving. The Lord bless you. We believe that you've been blessed by the word of God today. <clears throat> Don't forget that what today is now live 24 hours daily. So keep turning in daily and be immersed with the word of God. This is the word today <clears throat> brought to you by Living Hope Christian Center. My name is Brother Benjamin. It's my privilege and joy. I count it double honor to be able to reach you in your living room and to share the word of God with you. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. The Lord put his name upon you. You are named by the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Now, as we now go into our regularly scheduled programming, keep watching. Keep being immersed in the word of God. Let's share the goodness. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the true fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, Lord, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. We are now going back into our regularly scheduled program. Shalom. <laughs>